I do want to use as much of nature as sustainably as I can out here. Right now, we've got a lot of this material coming down out of the trees. Pine needles, maple seeds, and dead pieces of the cedar trees. After a few days of wind out here, our fairly long driveway is just covered with this. You've seen me using this before in our chicken run. Lately, I have been heaping this into our chicken run on a daily basis, but there's just too much of it out here for me to use that way. Why not just compost it directly without using the chickens first? I just don't have a good nitrogen source, something like grass clippings, in order to balance out all of this carbon. I could just shovel it into the yard debris bin and get rid of it that way, but that would be a waste of a potential resource. Trees drop this kind of material for a reason. It's a natural mulch, and I do use it that way, along with some of these branches that have come down that I chip and shred. It just It just helps, it just helps block weeds and helps the soil retain a little moisture during some dry spells. I do have another way of using this that I wanted to show you today. When this tree fell, it left a large and inconvenient crater. I wanted to give you a second look at this really big tree that came down in the storm. The video that I shot of it before just didn't seem to capture the real size of it. Now I'm six feet tall 
so you can judge how big this root ball is. A lot of the wood that comes down out here that we otherwise would have just burned in our burn pit to get rid of has ended up in this hole. I've layered it with old hay from our goats and there's a fair number of leaves in here too. This isn't compost for the garden. The wood that we've got in here would just take way too long to fully decompose for that. This compost will remain in place to feed this still living tree. Not all of its roots came out of the ground and the branches down there have put on quite a bit of new growth since it's fallen. Let me give you a closer look. I like to call this feature out here our tree bridge because it just spans the, the ravine down here. Isn't it amazing that a tree this big comes from a seed just like this? Composting in place like this will provide for years to come, a rich source of nutrients for this tree. Also, I wanted to completely fill in this hole so it's just easier to walk around out here. I'm not as worried about the 50-50 carbon to nitrogen ratio here. Eventually, even a pile of only carbon material will break down into soil. So mixing in a little extra carbon works for what I need it to. It covers all the bases. We fill the hole, feed the tree, and use otherwise unneeded material. I won't be done filling in the crater anytime soon. It'll be an ongoing project for a while. Marigold, did you want to leave too? Did you want to leave too, Marigold? Oh, okay, here you go, you can have it. <laughs>